Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, my name is Coaster Chal and welcome to Coaster Chal YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there ladies and gentlemen, thrill seeks of all ages, Coaster Chal here, Doncaster born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update. Well today we're going to be speaking about Camelot theme park. Now we haven't spoken about this park or, or you know, we've not really heard anything entertaining from this park in a decade but we've heard about something and it's a brand new kind of attraction or experience coming to the site or, or could be coming to the site called Camelot Rises now before we get started talking about details about Camelot Rises make sure you do like the video if you loved it comment down below your thoughts and opinions subscribe if you are new around here click the notification bell so you never miss YouTube video also guys check the description down below for social media links and the Google Forms link where you behind the camera can submit your own video ideas we are getting closer and closer to 2700 subs let's get there as soon as possible I want to try and get to 3k as soon as possible and for now guys Let's get into this video about Camelot Rises. So Lancashire's abandoned theme park, Camelot Theme Park, could be set the eerie setting for a terrifying new zombie experience, according to a Northwest Entertainment company who has revealed plans to bring the theme park back from the dead. A Manchester-based events firm has shared their vision for a fully immersive interactive zombie experience at the Derelict Amusement Park in Charlotte Richard. If it goes ahead, the park will open its gates for the first time in 10 years, with horror fans invited to spend an evening fully immersed in a gruesome night of post-apocalyptic horror. Camelot Rises is the nightmarish brainchild of Park and Party, which hosted a Halloween-themed drive-in cinema Scare City back in October at the Trafford Park. Now, the firm says its Camelot's Fright Nights are scheduled to take place in February and March at a cost of £50 per car, and would see horror fans park up into the grounds of the abandoned theme park to watch scary films on outdoor screens from the comfort of their cars. So this is technically like a Halloween update rather than a theme park newsroom update, so apologies for the intro, but it is now a Halloween update. <laughs> After the movie, guests would follow a one-mile zombie drive trail around the park for a fully immersive interactive zombie experience. Now the website says horror fans will find Camelot in the midst of a zombie apocalypse as they navigate their way through military checkpoints and nightmarish scenes, with zombies lurking in the shadows and gory battles breaking out between the army and the undead. This is Camelot, but not as you know it, warns the organisers of the event. Something deadly has destroyed the legendary world of Camelot, now overrun with zombies hungry for human flesh. As the army struggles to keep control of the area, it's time to see if you can survive this gruesome night of post-apocalyptic horror. Prepare to have a torch flashed in your eyes one minute before being bombarded by a mob of flesh-eating zombies the next. Do what the soldiers tell you or face being the undead's next meal. You'll come across both military personnel and petrifying zombies fighting for supremacy over the once glorious kingdom of Camelot. As a legendary castle sits derelict, you'll experience all the sights, sounds and sensations that put you right in the middle of an apocalyptic event. Prepare for sirens, smoke, mangled bodies and of course hordes of the living dead coming for you and your loved ones. This is an experience not to be missed. As well as the interactive zombie experience and nightly screenings of horror classics, the event will include food vendors and a fully licensed bar on the site. And according to the website, Camelot Rises says it plans to host its first event on Saturday, February 5th, with screenings of A Quiet Place from 2018 and The Crazies from just 2010. You can find more information and a full list of screenings. Um, and that is linked on the Park and Party Camelot Rises website, which I've linked in the description of this video, so you can go and check it out for yourself. Chorley Council and Camelot Landowner Story Homes have been approached for comment, but nothing as of yet. Now let's share my thoughts on Camelot Rises. There we are, ladies and gentlemen, spook seekers of all ages. That is speaking about Camelot Rises. This is now a Halloween update. <laughs> Halloween update in January. Who would have thought it? Um, but... Camelot Rises. I am so happy to see something done with the site because Camelot Theme Park, for me, um, is a prime site for development for the attractions industry. Story homes might disagree, but I think a nice new park or a nice new permanent attraction on that site would be fantastic for the development of that area of England um, and also to give some heritage back to Camelot Theme Park. Um, before the American Adventure transformation into this whole Lakeside project, this whole Chorley Lakeside project, Chorley Lakeside, sorry, um, I wanted someone to come in and buy a couple of the 
like old theme park sites like Camelot, American Adventure, a couple of others and sort of create a chain of parks you know in those sites to bring the theme park industry uh, to life through those abandoned sites. Um, me personally I would love to see something permanent on this site but for now at least Camelot Rises sounds like a really nice attraction, a really nice experience for horror lovers everywhere. Um, the screenings of movies, the zombie drive-in, you know this one mile drive around the zombie fields it's going to be a really nice um experience and i hope it does get passed by the council um and the the, the landowner story homes i really hope they do pass it um because camelot theme park for me was uh you know even though i never got to experience it i, I heard a lot about camelot theme park and um it was a really nice place it looked like a really nice place and it could have got the investment if it if it received the backing for me so um, for me, it's nice to see a brand new attraction or an experience on the Camelot theme park site, even if it's just temporary for a couple of months. Um, I think they could do a really nice job with it. And, you know, fair play to, to Park and Place from, from Manchester uh, for going in and, and coming up with this idea. So um, hopefully it gets passed and we'll uh, hopefully see that first one in February. But for now, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Make sure you do like, comment, subscribe. And for now, my name is Coach Shell. Keep living the coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video in the next video very very soon take care guys. next video next video take care guys have a camelot tastic day you have no idea how glad it's good to say camelot theme park again